What's cooking guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay and today on our trip around the world, we're making a stop in Lebanon for an amazing recipe for chicken kebabs and garlic sauce or two right after this. My name is Jay and this is Broil LA. This episode is sponsored by MilkandEggs.com. If you're in the LA area, check them out for farm fresh fruits, veggies, meats, and more. So to get started on our recipe, we're gonna start on the chicken kebab. So here I have two around six ounce chicken breasts. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them into one inch cubes. So to our chicken cubes, I'm gonna add the marinade. So here I have two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice, along with two tablespoons of canola or vegetable oil, two cloves of crushed garlic, a half teaspoon of kosher salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. We're gonna mix this together, and then we're gonna marinate this in the fridge for one to two hours. All right, so there are a ton of Mediterranean restaurants in Los Angeles, and they all have one thing in common. They have an amazing garlicky spread called tum. So to get started on our tum, what we're gonna do is in a blender or food processor, I'm gonna have half a cup of garlic cloves. And one thing you do wanna do before we put our garlic cloves in the blender is make sure that there's no germ in it. And I'll show you how to do that. So this is what's called a germ, and it runs through the middle of a lot of larger garlic cloves. Now, it might get in the way of us getting a smooth blend, so on the larger cloves, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop off the ends, and we're gonna give it a quick smash, and then you'll be able to easily see and pull out that germ. So to get started on our garlic sauce in a food processor or blender, I'm gonna add our half a cup of garlic cloves with the germs removed. And to that, I'm gonna add about a half teaspoon of kosher salt. And then we're gonna pulse this 10 to 12 times until the garlic is roughly chopped. All right, so we've pulsed our garlic about 10 to 12 times and it's chopped up pretty fine now. So now we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. So here I have a mixture of two tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm gonna add half of this now. And I also have one and a half cups of vegetable or canola oil. Here's canola oil. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a third of this or one half cup now, and then we're gonna add the rest in stages. All right, so we've pulsed this until it's become super smooth and velvety. So let's give it a quick taste. All right, so the texture is perfect, but the taste is way too garlicky, and that's why we have the rest of that vegetable oil. So right now, we're gonna add the rest of our mixture of water and lemon juice. We're gonna add another half cup of our canola oil. All right, so now that that's smooth, we're gonna add the rest of our canola oil. All right, so our garlic tomb is done and is resting in the fridge, so we're gonna get started cooking our chicken kebabs. So our chicken has been marinating for just under two hours, so we're gonna skewer them up, about four cubes per skewer, and we're gonna grill them four minutes per side on a stove top grill pan over medium high heat. Now we're gonna plate this with some pita bread, some hummus, and our delicious garlic tomb sauce. So one of the best parts of doing what I do is the opportunity to work with other Los Angeles businesses. Like Milk and Eggs, who provided 100% of the groceries used in this recipe, and Masterson California made with their gorgeous custom kitchenware accessories, like the cutting board used here. So to make our Lebanese chicken kebabs and garlic tomb, what we did was we cubed off our chicken breast and then marinated them for a couple hours in a mixture of oil, lemon juice, and garlic before grilling them off. 
and then we made our garlic tomb sauce by blending together garlic, lemon juice, and a lot of canola oil until it made a rich and velvety texture. This recipe is perfect for summer. Grilled chicken breast and garlic, what more could you ask for? And if you are a garlic lover, this garlic tomb sauce is amazing. You're gonna to wanna to put it on everything. So make sure you make this at home and let us know how it goes in the comments down below. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, make sure to give it a like and let me know if you have any suggestions for future episodes in the comments down below. You can click this button to subscribe to our channel and check out some of our other videos over here. My name is Jay and this is Broil LA.